Hello and welcome. Let's talk about septic shock. So, what is septic shock? Septic shock is a very severe medical condition which is caused by release of bacterial products, endotoxin and the activation of cellular and humoral components of the immune system. In septic shock, there is maldistribution of blood flow at a microvascular level with artery venous shunting and dysfunction of cellular utilization of oxygen. Causes of septic shock. Surgical causes include major trauma, burn, gas gangrene, abscess, subtissue infection, peritonitis following gut perforation, strangulation of intestine, gastrointestinal fistulas, biliary and urinary infections, pancreatitis, diabetic wounds, and gas gangrene. Medical causes include endocarditis, meningitis, and pneumonia. Organisms. The organisms are endotoxin producing gram negative bacteria like E. coli, Klebsiella, Proteus, and Pseudomonas. Some gram positive cocci like Drosodium titani, Wolki, Staphylococci, Staphylococci, Pneumococci, and some fungi like Fungemia, and viruses, and Protozoa. The stages of the septic shock includes hypodynamic, hypodynamic stage and the hypodynamic, hypovolemic, septic stage. In pathogens of septic shock. It is given here. You can note from here. The mediators of septic shock. Bacterial endotoxins and products of the cellular and immoral components of immunity like interleukin-1, tumor necrosis factor, nitric oxide complement C3A, C5A and activation of the coagulation cascade. The fate of the septic shock includes recovery or death due to refractory hypotension and multiple organ failure like kidney, lungs, brain, heart and adrenal gland. Clinical features of the septic shock includes early states like uh, fever with chill, warm dry skin, patient is pink and well perfused, fall of the systemic blood pressure, tachycardia and urinary output. The late stage includes rapid thready pulse, cold climbing skin, hypotension, rapid cellular breathing, oliguria, Restlessness and mental confusion. The principle of the treatment is the volume resuscitation, early antibiotic administration, rapid source identification and control, and support of measured organ dysfunction. The treatment includes assessment of the patient, pulse, BP, respiration, urinary output, CVP, maintenance of respiration, maintenance of circulation, drugs, which includes broad spectrum parental antibiotics, after blood culture and sensitivity. And if uh, general improvement of the circulation does not occur, then hydrocortisone should be injected. And thorough surgical toileting for accession of the dead tissue, drains of the pus, and surgery for intravenous sepsis can be done. Tetanus prophylaxis and continuous monitoring should be done for pulse, BP, respiration, and urine output. End of the topic.